I'm going to talk to you today about Plan, Do, Study, Act cycles, uh, commonly known as PDSA cycles. So let's just go over for a second what those terms mean. Uh, and I'll start by telling you that this is a method we use in science, we use it in everyday life, and we certainly use it in improving healthcare. So plan, by plan we mean we're going to run an experiment. We have a hypothesis. We're making a prediction about what will happen when we run this experiment and we're going to determine whether or not that prediction holds up. That's where uh, the do comes in. We run the experiment and then we study, that's the S. We see whether or not our prediction was in fact verified when we uh, acted on our plan. Based on what we find on the data we get from the PDS, we then revise our plan if necessary and act to change our plan and have another hypothesis and run another experiment. So that's pretty simple and uh, you're probably seen many examples of this in healthcare even if nobody called it a PDSA. But let's look at an example of trying to prevent central venous catheter associated bloodstream infections or CLAPSIs. Now we all know that a checklist has been shown to be very effective in getting folks to reliably do the right evidence-based practices when they put in a line and that reduces infection. The question is, how do you actually get that done in practice? How do you execute on that evidence-based plan? Well, we know that among the uh, things you're supposed to do when you put in a central venous catheter are to prep the skin with a certain kind of antiseptic, it's chlorhexidine, uh, and to use a large surgical drape. Those are two of the elements of the checklist. The question is, how do you get them to be at the bedside reliably so that the care team has them at their beck and call when they're ready to put in the catheter? So the physician's ready to put in the catheter, and you have a theory that if you include the surgical drape and the antiseptic in the packet of supplies that the team brings to the bedside, the physician will always be able to do it. He won't have to be looking all over. She won't have to be hunting for these supplies. And that's your theory, and you predict this will improve care. So you do that experiment, and lo and behold, uh, not surprisingly probably, uh, the uh, drape is there, the antiseptic is there, the physician uses them when he puts in the catheter, and infection's probably less likely. That's a PDSA cycle in healthcare. So I know you're dying to try this in healthcare, and that's great, but I recommend that first you try it in your own personal life so you get comfortable with it, so that when you go to healthcare, you'll feel like, I've done this before, this isn't that hard. But what I'm gonna talk about, of all things, cucumbers. Uh, and I care about vegetables. I, I have raised beds, I spend a lot of time and effort. I don't want stuff to go wrong. Uh, so this year, I decided I'm gonna plant cucumbers and prepare the soil, put in the fertilizer, drop in the seeds, three seeds to a hill, they sprout it, I thin them to one, things growing like crazy and uh, I uh, run it along my bed and looking at it with admiration, I come back uh, to, from work to home and I see that it's been chopped off by a weed whacker. Turns out every Monday there's a guy that comes and he does our lawn, right? And he has a weed whacker and he chopped off my cucumber. Uh, and this results in a pretty stunted cucumber. So I said, well, look, I have a theory that if I prop this cucumber vine up on the raised bed more carefully, the weed whacker won't get to it. That's my prediction. And, and so I put the cucumber vine up on the raised bed, came back, by golly, the head was chopped off again. My prediction uh, was not correct. Uh, when I studied the result, it was a disaster for my poor cucumber. Uh, and so I had to revise my plan. I had to act in a different way. My next experiment was to put a large flower pot in front of the cucumber vine, hoping that the guy with the weed whacker would understand that he wasn't supposed to meddle with this thing. And lo and behold, I come back, another PDSA cycle failed, and he'd been uh, mangling my cucumber again. At this point, I actually thought about something that you probably use in your life, uh, and we certainly sometimes default to in healthcare, and that's called brute force. I went to find the guy, the weed whacker guy, and basically grab him by the shoulders and shake him and saying, you're killing my cucumber. But I restrained myself, this is improvement, we don't want to have blame. Uh, we want to do things better and make things better for the weed whacker guy as well as myself. So my next uh, PDSA cycle was to put the cucumber up on a trellis. I figured if I had a trellis, and I have a very pretty one, as you can see, it's in the shape of a leaf 
It's, it's really quite attractive. I propped the cucumber up on that so that a weed whacker really couldn't reach it. And lo and behold, look at it, it thrived. My prediction was get the thing out of the way so that the weed whacker absolutely can't get to it. This is called a forcing function. Uh, the forcing function is the darn weed whacker just won't get that high. Uh, he can't do it. Uh, and my cucumber's thriving, and I'm telling you, I had the best marinated cucumbers, a little onion, salt, and vinegar uh, last night, just like my mom used to make it. That This was a really good PDSA cycle. So that's all there is to it. You can do that in your own life. You can do it in healthcare. Remember, you have to have a prediction. You have to start with a theory. Your job is to see whether or not your theory is a good theory. Uh, most of our theories, uh, we have some doubt, so go test it. Run a PDSA 